welcome to this video. This is against a player called Zwickmühle. This is a German name actually, with a Dutch flag. Oh, very new, very new account. Let's see. Zwickmühle. Yeah, this is difficult to difficult to translate actually. It's um hmm. Tja. It's somewhat like in English, like between a rock and a hard place, this kind of thing. But it's not quite quite fitting this uh, this um, way to describe it. Okay, um, I don't want to do d5. D5 is very static, so I'm going to set up a headshot. Playing this really, really quickly. Hmm, okay, so really, you want to put it on h3. That looks, that looks really ugly. Now I can go back to e4, of course. Well, then knight g5 didn't make any sense, but that's probably true in, in any case. Yeah, well, knight h3 looks ridiculous, yeah. So, just went back, yeah. I can trade a couple of times on knight d7, maybe knight d7. Yeah, e5 is one idea of the whole setup, but I'm going to prepare it a little bit more. Good thing the queen is opposed to the rook, so... I go e5. What he did is he lost a couple of moves, yeah? Knight g5 and so on. Okay, let's push. Yeah, coming, coming with the threat of e4. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. I can take d4. E D knight d five something like this. Queen c six is also a move, but it's not threatening anything. Okay, I'm not threatening mate here. <laughs> Important. <laughs> I'm not sure. It, it should be okay in 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 many ways, but hard to determine what's best. I'm trying to take this bishop there. For the bishop pair. Okay. I don't need to do it right now though. Yeah. I can start with that. Oh, maybe b bishop b5, yeah. Bishop b5 was a move that could have been a nuisance. It still is, maybe. get rid of this bishop yeah and now I can go g6 yeah pushing pushing it away okay so the dark squares are weak now and really vulnerable knight g4 is not doing much though e3 hangs okay put this on g7 just anticipating, yes, that he does this sometime. Here it's probably really wrong, right? I mean, d4 is hanging, really. If I, if I move the, the knight somewhere. Here's knight f3, though. I was thinking that maybe I can play knight h5. Knight takes h5, bishop d4, check, king moves, queen takes h4. I don't know. Uh, I don't want to fall too much behind on the clock. <clears throat> Check. Check. 
Yeah, with knight hangs and I won a pawn, a very important one. Bishop b5, this rook e4, this was what I was thinking. And I see no great move for him, really. If he has to retreat the knight, I, I go bishop e5, and this is the best bishop ever on e5. Like, I mean, all-star team. MVP in this case, if you, <laughs> if we stay with the, the sports comparison there. Seems he doesn't see anything gay, uh, anything great. Yeah, I thought rookie four simply. Maybe, maybe that's not that convincing. Bishop e5, of course, is always possible. Yeah, it is. It is also also just good, right? This move. Queen h6, threatening queen g6. I mean, this made on h2, yeah. My my threat should come in first here, in a way. Um, or is he able to play bishop f7? Oh wait, bishop f7, king f7, rook c7. But I can go to g8, yeah. There's nothing really happening. Yeah. My mate comes first. And h5 hangs, so... Yeah, I can take h5, which also keeps everything covered, yeah, h6, g6, and I'm threatening queen f3, yeah. Yeah, I can take e4. Check. White resigns. Yeah, he lost a couple of moves here with this, with this knight g5 business. And here black is, is certainly okay, some, somehow. Here, g6, bishop g7, and e4 was really surprising, and he played it very quickly in four seconds. Yeah, I can even take e4. This, this is the strongest actually, but I thought this would be good as well. Yeah, the best move is knight f3, after which I thought that this must be a disaster, which it is strategically, but of course, if you can take on e4 and just win, win material is better, yeah? I'm just winning this back here and I win e4, so this is much better. Check. But this is a, a complete win, right? Yeah, there is no no way for white out of this yeah very often this this kind of hedgehog type setup is a good way to play against those um, somewhat tame uh, setups yeah like here the collar or um, the london and so on because it keeps all pieces on and you have some long-term idea this is really knight g5 is just losing time it's not not really doing anything and this is the, the final idea to get it. Final idea. That is the point of the setup. When you get e5 in, you have an extra pawn in the center and you can sometimes push those pieces back. They look active, but they are also a little bit clumsily placed, yeah, running into e5, e4, and ideas like that. All right. Thanks for watching.